Hey y'all. Um, I had something really odd happen and I want to alert you that this happened and tell you all about it. Okay, so I was walking at the park. I had just, um, I was probably about like 100 feet, 200 feet um, walking and my friend who we've exchanged phone numbers and he saw me walking down there and he, he called me and he goes, well Lee, he goes, your alarm's going off on your car. And um, he goes, the lights are flashing ten, about 10 times and then I hear an alarm and it's done it twice now. And I'm like, that's really odd. I said, well, okay, I'm, I'll turn around and come back. And so I got here. I said, wow, what? He goes, well, maybe your battery's going low. Go check your battery. And I thought, well, that would be odd. <laughs> you know, I've never heard of that, you know. So I went in and I unlocked my door. You know, I, I, don't, I don't use an electronic key. I just stuck the key in and then locked it. I mean, like I normally would. Um, I had no idea at that point if my door was locked or unlocked. And I unlocked it and I started it. It started right up. So I went back and I talked to him and I said, well, that is just odd. Um, I've been around my um, minivan, I mean, in most cases, unless I run into the store, if I'm at a park, I'm usually near it and I'm exercising. I have never, ever, ever experienced that happening before. And so we start thinking about it. And then all of a sudden I realized, I go, oh my gosh, I've heard of this where somebody else's electronic key can open other uh, cars. He goes, oh yeah. He goes, you know, that is weird too. He goes, he goes, I've heard of people like elect the electronic um, openers. He goes, yeah, he goes, I've heard of um, thieves going around and they drive up and down nice neighborhoods and they, um, they just try everybody's garage and see if they open, which freaked me out. Oh my gosh, because this morning I got a message from my daughter in Cincinnati that at two o'clock last night, the garage door opened only one side, but the garage door. Um, and, the, and they do have different keys for different um, sides of their, their two car garage. And oh, they freaked out. She goes, honey, she goes, <laughs> my son in law. Uh, the garage door opened up. We gotta go down there. Yeah. And uh, they got weapons and everything. <laughs> they called the police. Um, yeah, back the blue. Uh, yeah, she said they came right away. They were so nice. And he says, well, he'll keep an eye out. They probably know that some people do that. I, uh, could have been a mistake. Could have been somebody, a passenger, she's just clicking this thing, you know, like playing around. They were talking and she's just clicking it and it opened. Um, Oh, who knows? Nobody was in there and nobody stole anything, but it did open. Okay. Light went on and everything. So that freaked me out because, oh my gosh. I mean, we're talking about this and this happened to my dad and then this happened to me. Like, do, 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 <laughs> you know, twilight zone. Or what was it? The outer limits. Do not touch that dial. We are in control. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. My friend left, so I'm thinking about this, and I'm thinking, um, I looked at my menu, I thought, ooh, why would I look in there? Um, go online, and I looked online, and read. so I called my friend Robert, shout out to Robert, my mechanical engineer. Um, one thing that I love about Robert, that I love about you, Robert, is you will not commit unless you know for certain that that's it. And he goes, well, I kind of have to be there. I don't really know, Lee, you know. <laughs> it's sort of like a doctor these days, you know. It's like, well, we got. I don't really know, you know. Like, I can't give you a definite answer. I'd have to do an MRI or a CAT scan or something. They want, they want to see it right there. Um, yeah, they won't commit. And um, that's probably a good thing. And that's what I appreciate about Robert. He doesn't commit. He doesn't try to be a know-it-all like, oh, yeah, I think that's it. You know, and he's uh, really guessing. Okay, so thank you, Robert. You are a gem. Um, so we talked for a while. Okay, side note, we talked for a while. Um, he still doesn't know where to go. <laughs> yeah, still undecisive as me, you know, like where do we go? I don't know. Back to my story. <laughs> okay, yeah, this, uh, so I actually did get online. No, I started, whatever, found a story and I'm going to leave links to everything that I, I looked at. Found a story of this gal. She had a Toyota. 
I don't know why she'd get in somebody else. She unlocked somebody else's Toyota with her electronic key. I mean, was it the same color? What was she thinking? She got in and she saw this baby seat in the back of there. She doesn't have a baby. And she, she realized she opened somebody else's um, Toyota. It must have been the same. I mean, how does that happen? Do, 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 do. You know, she opened the same, the same color. <laughs> I, I mean, maybe. So then, and she said that she opened the door and she sat down and it, but it wouldn't start. And then she started looking around like, well, wait a minute. That just doesn't make sense, but I believe the story. It didn't start it, but it unlocked it. So I, so then I started thinking, okay, other things started like, well, I want to put, cause I pondered these things and I wanted to put it all together. Now, does a Toyota, the common, there's an electronic code combination and it says, and then in there it says, well, Toyota has like 300,000 different code combinations. I'm like, well, Oh, so it goes by the make. Um, so what about a Kia? So, cause I was, when I was talking to my friend, I was looking around like, what, what car would have done that? That they'd have to be facing. I didn't even think to look was there, there was a Kia out there. So then I'm thinking, well, wait a minute. Do Kia's only combinations only open Kia's? Honda's only open Honda's. So if you know the, I did not find the answer to this. If you know the answer to this, please let's, uh, let's figure this out together. Um, Okay, leave me a comment if you know this. Okay, or ask your husbands, ask your wives, ask your mechanics. Because this is important stuff for us nomads. I mean, we can get everything stolen. Even though they might not be able to take off with our vehicle, they could steal everything. Of course, they could always smash the window. But that would be noticeable if they can just walk up to it and open it and hop in. <laughs> you know, like, take the, yeah, that would, people wouldn't notice something like that. Okay. So I started pondering that. So I started looking that up. And then I found another article that said that Toyotas, Kias, and Hondas are real easy to open up and to, um, but there were only certain models of the make. I will, I will find that article again and put it on there in, um, in, in my comment. And, uh, Okay, so I read that. I thought, hmm, but I didn't have that Kia model, so, okay. So then I heard something in the article about disabling or abling disabling or changing the code. You can change your code. Okay, so then I thought, well, can I disable? I thought, hmm, can I disable? So I found an article, and I'm going to give it to you, about disabling your um the code the key code so that no electronic key can open okay well before i found that article i found another article this is scary i don't know how new that article is i didn't look at the date of it but it said in the article it was a new technology a new device for stealing cars um it could have been a year ago but there's a now, it's about the size of a cell phone. It's an RFID reader. Oh yeah, I remember doing articles and articles. I did a whole PowerPoint, a whole research on this about RFID and the future um, when I was in uh, college. And so this was interesting that here we go. RFID, they have RFID readers, and they, they what they do is they get really close to your car, and like maybe six inches, two inches, six, they get really close, and they turn it on. It will read the electronic code of your, your key in your car, and not only do they unlock it, and then they, they I don't know if it's the same, they, they hit, okay, and then it opens and it starts your car. That's why I mentioned previously that her key, electronic key, opened the door, but it wouldn't start the car. Well, these RFID readers open and start your car. Yeah. Not good, not good. So I'm thinking, well, I wanna, well can I disable? Can I disable that? I found an article that will disable it, but I don't have an electronic key 
so I can't test it if it did it, but I'm going to leave this article for you. It's almost, <laughs> it's like one of those instructions where you have to like turn around twice, lift your left leg up three times, put your right arm out, lift it up two times, and you have to go through all this. That isn't, I'm just giving an analogy of what this was like. And if I remember, I had to unlock, I had to open my door, but lock my door. And then I had to make sure all the other doors were shut. Then I had to put in my key, pull it out, put in my key, pull it out. <laughs> then I had to lock it. I don't even remember the combination, but it took it took about a minute to go through this. I had to read each instruction. Okay, now what do I do? Okay, I shut my door. <laughs> and I, uh, Then I have to put it on, on, off, on, off. <laughs> You'll see. So I did it, and I finished it. And then I thought, okay. Then the next part of the instructions of the article went on to say, now what you can do is reprogram your code. It'll give you a whole different code. But if you want to completely disable it, don't go any further. That's it. You're done. Well, I don't have one of those. I use a regular key. I got them parked everywhere. <laughs> I got one here that I keep in my little pouch. I've got one on my keychain for when I, I actually am going into the store. I have them there. This pouch goes with me everywhere. And, um, well, every once in a while I have locked myself out, like I've mentioned. Um, maybe I was took a nap and I took my pouch off. And then I walked out and I locked it. I was like, oh, crap. Whoops. Sorry. Um, then I forgot to put my pouch back on. Okay. And, of course, I take my pouch off in the mo at night. Okay. So putting my pouch on is part of getting dressed every morning. That pouch goes with me. Because, remember, I showed you, I keep three things in it. My key. My key. Lip gloss, Burt's Bees, and very important, <laughs> my floss. I, I change it. I, I, I replace it. I, I cannot stand food in my mouth. Uh, I do. You know, if I'm out and I munch on something, I might be out. I gotta like go in the bathroom and kind of clean my teeth. Okay. Anywho, <laughs> anywho. So I'm gonna put that article up. Isn't that a bizarro? So here's what I. If anybody is interested in doing this, it would be so cool if only with an electronic key, or I can ask one of my friends too, but you know, let me know if you want to go through it. Let me know if it works because I don't have one. Um, to see, I, I did it. I don't know if an electronic <laughs> key, if it's disabled or not. I don't have any way of knowing it, but um, yeah. Okay. So. Uh, so that's my story. Uh, my friend, he keeps uh, messing me. So that's my story. I wanted to alert everybody about that. And this is my video for today. Um, it's a shorter one. You probably think, yay, Lee didn't put up a 30-minute video today. It's a short one, yay. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, the last couple have been kind of long. But I have just so much to say, you know. Um, my day's going really good. It's still morning. Um, I have a, I walked and then I spent an hour pondering this um, and calling Robert. And uh, yeah, we actually talked. I was thinking about maybe go visit him. It's not too far. It's only like 60 miles away. 60 miles. But I told him he needs to come up here though too because he's in a small town. He's with his sister in the parking lot <laughs> in her uh, driveway. He needs to come up here. And he's also has he has a class B and a trailer. They post me and he goes, Well, is there space for me? I go, Heck yeah. Heck yeah. In fact I'll send him a thing. He needs to watch this. Hi, Robert. <laughs> this is one you need to see because I'm talking about you. Um, he's a really good friend and a smart guy. And he's so smart that he doesn't have to prove he's smart. You know, smart people don't have to prove they're smart. Um, they just are. And he doesn't have to prove, well, I know the answer to that. No, if he doesn't know completely when I've said, he will not commit. So I hope your day's going really good. And uh, let me know what you think. I want the discussion to start now on this because this is, this is crazy for nomads, for all you out there, but especially for us nomads. Everything we own is in our vehicle. Hello. <laughs> Love you. Mwah.